Hey, everybody. Happy Friday night. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a great day. I've had a great day. It's been very, very nice. So let's see who's here with me tonight. All right, we got Dixie and Elise. Hey there, glad y'all are with me. Um, if you don't mind, if you are in the Zoom room, please set your chat to all panelists and attendees. You'll find wherever your chat button is. You can do this on a phone and on a computer. So find your chat and then click where it says all panelists, then choose the option for all panelists and attendees. <laughs> That's funny, Elise. Yeah, I bet he got a kick out of that. Last night, I went and got my hair done. Y'all, I was having a hard time deciding on whether or not I wanted to get my uh, highlights done again. I thought for, I haven't, I don't think I've had it highlighted all year. And so I was really debating and I decided to get my highlights back and I actually like it much better. So I was glad I did that. But Jim was so awesome to fill in for me last night. Hey, Michelle on Facebook. If you are on Facebook, please hit that share button in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. If you're on an iPad or a phone, if you're on your computer, you can also hit share from there. And if you are finding us on Facebook and you don't know what this is, you have found the Shibboleth Lifestyle. The Shibboleth Lifestyle is a lifestyle where we're going to teach you how to eat food from the grocery store in a way that controls insulin so that you can control the number one thing to weight reduction. And we're going to teach you the rest of the stuff that needs to go along with that, okay? But there's a lot of myths out there. There's a lot of noise out there and it's kind of hard to find the truth sometimes. And what I love about Shibboleth is we are not, we're, there's no nothing to buy from us after your membership. Your membership is what gets you the education. It gets you all the tools and the resources that you need, but it's not like I'm going to be coming around to you and going, you ready to buy your bars, your shakes, all of that. We don't do that. Um, so thank you, Elise. I appreciate it. So we don't, we don't do that. So you can buy your food from the grocery store. We do have some products, but it's not a requirement that you purchase them from us. We just have them because guess who likes them? We do. Me. Travis, Sasha, Jason, all the team, Jim, Julie, Jonathan, everybody. We like them. Sherry, Kristen, Cindy, Kim, Joni, Missy, Amy. Um, we like them. So that's why we have them. We just put them there for convenience, but it's not a requirement. And that's what's so great about Shibboleth is we're truly here to educate you. And you can get the food from wherever you want to. Um, okay, but well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started tonight. Tonight, we're going to do lap six. Let's see who joined us. Cassie, hey Cassie, and Jenny and Jennifer. Glad y'all are here with us tonight. That's awesome. Let me close that out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to do lap six of Fast Track. If you are brand new, when you log into your site, Fast Track should pop up right away for you. If it doesn't, then you're just going to click dashboard up here in that little ribbon at the very top. It's called a ribbon. Um, it might not look like a ribbon, but that's a ribbon of words. So you're going to click dashboard right there and it will take you to Fast Track. Now, one of the things that, hey, Jenny, one of the things that I recommend that you do is go ahead and log into your account, go to whatever browser it is that you that you surf the web on, on your computer, and log in to the site. Then I want you to save it as a favorite. Most of the time, you can just click this little star button and save it as a favorite. If you go ahead and save it as a favorite while you are logged in, you typically don't have to log in anymore. It goes ahead and saves it that way. That's good because this needs to be your hub. And if it is easy to access, you're more likely to go to it frequently, okay? If it's not easy to access, you got lots of steps to get into it, you're less likely to go to it frequently. I'm just like y'all. I want things to be simple and easy. So I set them up 
to be simple and easy. On my phone, I have all the spots of the website that I go to regularly. I have them saved as shortcuts on my phone. And then I pulled all of them into a Shibboleth folder. So it's easy to access everything on my phone as well. Now, once you're doing fast track and you've, you've saved this as a favorite and everything, and you've done some other things to uh, play around on the website and stuff, and you think, oh, how do I get back to fast track? You just simply click on dashboard and then fast track right there. Your fast track may already be pulling up right, right there, but you click on fast track if it's not. The reason I say that is there are longtime members that sometimes come and do fast track and they need to know that because their instructor page pops up first. So I got my water here, but at night, I typically drink a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Thank you, Shannon. I got it colored last night. I, got, I mean, not colored, color, I got it highlighted last night <clears throat> and it hadn't been done all year. So that's why it looks so different. But what's in this glass is uh, zero sugar sun-kissed with apple cider vinegar. So that's what's in that little glass. Okay, so just a reminder, this is a video tutorial, just a short little video tutorial of this. So it's just about nine minutes long. And then what you do is you simply hover your mouse over the task. Each little thing here is just called a task. And you read the black box. The black box is very specific to that task. It's like if you and I were talking, what we what I would tell you to do about that. Hey, Stacy, glad you're here. This simply says, check out the combination chart for advanced members and watch the class that goes with it. So this links to the chart. And then down here in the videos, you'd need to search for advanced class, okay? We'll do that tonight and I'll show you. We're gonna click right here. This is the advanced combination chart. So just to let you know, this is my favorite combination chart. Yes, we start off with one that's a little bit smaller and less to look at in lap one. But hopefully by this day, you know, five days in, if you've really been listening and paying attention, I think that this would be easy to understand. And this is the this is the chart that I really, really used mostly, even from the beginning. Um, and I really like it. So let's just have a look at what this this I'm going to read some of these. This says category one lean protein eaten with that plus sign doesn't mean we're doing math it means we're eating. We're eating it with a category two fiber scarb eaten with a category three energy carb. So this is a meal in and itself. And in this next line, it's a meal. And you would just pick one of these meals from any of these columns. Now the red and yellow column are gonna help you have faster weight loss. And more than likely, if you stick in this red and this yellow column, quite a bit in weight loss and maybe throw in a blue column every once in a while, then you know, you're know you gonna have great weight loss. If you stick in the blue column for every single meal of weight loss, it's gonna be like, you are gonna make it to the beach, but you've taken the scenic route, okay? This is like the scenic route. It's still fast weight loss. You're still gonna get to your destination, but if you stick over here, mostly it's gonna be just a little bit slower, okay? But over here, you've gotten on the highway to go to the beach. And over here, you've gotten on the interstate, all right? And this is what we say. This is fast. This is fastest. How can you get faster than fastest? Blowtorch. You're going to blowtorch fat like you'd blowtorch butter using this column, okay? And HHF right here stands for hemp hearts, hemp flakes. So we've just kind of squished that together. HH is for hemp hearts. HF is for hemp flakes. And we're going to look for a video on that in just a second. Um, Travis teaches the hemp videos much better or the hemp class and hemp topic better than I do. And he's already got a video. So why redo it? He can, you can watch it from, from him, but this is great products. So let's come over here. I want to look at this fourth line down. Do you see where that says category one lean protein with a category seven shellfish? If you've been listening this week, this is those are both lean proteins. 
you're going to fit them both underneath this one hand, but you have more flavors, okay? And then this is saying eaten with a category two fibrous carb and a category three energy carb. So what this meal right here might look like is, let's just say chicken breast, shrimp, broccoli, and new potatoes. That's what that could look like. Um, so let's come down here and let's do this one. Category one lean protein eaten with category two fibrous carb eaten with category six superfood. So maybe this is 96% lean ground beef, green beans, and black beans. That's what that would be. So really with this, this, this is, this is whole food world, right? This is whole foods. This is real actual whole foods that you're learning about. You're combining in a way that controls insulin and, and all of that. But there's other packaged and box foods that are also on the lifestyle because see this lifestyle, it's practical, sustainable, and fun. We're not trying to make you go down one lane for the rest of your life. There's lots of lanes in Shibboleth in it. That's what makes it so awesome is if you want to do a whole foods day where you're doing um, all whole foods, all organic, non-genetically modified, that's just a perfect day eating those kind of foods and you call it a divine day. That's one of the advanced types of perfect days. Okay. But sometimes you want to do a meal replacement. We'll talk about that in just a second. This PP, hey Gina, this PP stands for perfect pairing. Now the perfect pairing, let me explain what a perfect pairing is. A perfect pairing does not follow the rules of these combinations but it has been determined by the team that it will still work if you follow it just as it is T-scribed. That's a Travis subscription, T-scribed, Travis prescription, I mean. So perfect pairing just means it doesn't meet the rules, but he says it'll work if you do it just as the way it's T-scribed. All right, so y'all can do it that way. Now, come over here into these meal replacements. You're talking something that's going to be quick and easy, more like a Power Crunch bar, a Shibboleth high protein bar, or maybe the AHS pancakes or AHS cinnamon crisp cereal. You know, you're, you're talking a little bit more packaged and processed. Okay, but it's all can be good for weight loss. You just need to use it in the right way. Hey, Rebecca, glad you're here. Awesome, awesome, that's good. Okay, while I'm here, does anybody have any questions about what this, this is? I mean, by now, I hope that, our, that you know that our goal is to eat in a way that controls insulin. This sheet helps you come up with meals. And so when you are, when you're making your meals, like on lap three, when we did that worksheet, I didn't have room on that worksheet to write every single type of combination there is and have you create meals. But you know what? I did that in the beginning. I took this. I wrote lean protein, fibrous carb, and energy carb at the top of a piece of paper, and I started making meals. Okay, so if you want to be super successful at this, which you do, there's no reason that you were with hanging out with me all week if you didn't, then this is a type of activity that you do on your own, and you you keep playing. You keep honing your skill. Okay. All right, so just the fact that you know that there's an advanced combination chart, you can print it, you can save it to your phone, you can uh, you screenshot it on your phone, you can save it to your computer. You just need to know how to access it quickly and easily. If you have access to a printer, I would highly suggest that you print it and you put it in your kitchen. So once you have done that, you know that there's an advanced combination chart, you simply just check this box right here, okay? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to practice finding videos on specific topics in the video library. So the search bar in the video library can be used to find videos on a specific topic. Please find the search bar in the video library and search for survival kit. This will generate a list of videos tagged with the keywords survival kit. Next, I want you to search for the word hemp. This will generate a list of videos tagged with hemp, but I, there's a couple of videos I want to point out for y'all to heart. Notice the heart for each, next to each video. You can heart your favorites for easy access. Or when you're doing this activity, 
if you don't have time to watch the video right then, just heart it. And then that way it'll be easily accessible when you finish Fast Track and you want to go back and watch that. So we're going to click here. It's going to take us to the video library. <clears throat> And in the video library, there's a couple of things I want to point out. Here's the search bar right here. Search. You, you type in this field right here, and then you hit the search button. Okay. Over here to the right, it's my favorites. So if I clicked this, it would take, take us to the videos that I've hearted. These three little tabs right here are just different ways to have your video library organized. My favorite is the detail level, and I would suggest that you put it at the detail level as well. So that's that. Okay, so then this says you have watched 782 videos in your library. This one says you have 109 watched unwatched videos in your library. What I want you to know about that is don't really focus on that in the beginning because this is for, you know, when you have continue to work your way through the videos, then you might want to say, what videos have I missed? You might want to do that later, but don't, don't hyper-focus on that right now, okay? We're going to come right down here. You've got four levels of videos right now. Fast Track, you've got Silver, Gold, and Tiger's Eye. I want you to know that the Silver and Gold levels are going to be eventually combined into a level called Journey. Um, so once you see that happen, just know I've already told you that it was going to happen. So those are going to be put together at the journey level. Now, it's kind of hard to see because the silver tab is silver and it's on this white background. But see, it's raised up just a little bit. If I clicked on gold, it's a little bit easier to see. See how that gold level is sticking up just a little bit. So when you look at that, that would tell you which which video library you're in, okay? So the tiger's eye now, it's stuck up just a little bit there. So that's how you know what video library you are in. So let's go and be in the silver level because that's how I had it linked in the first place. And we're going to search for, we're going to search for him. And it's going to bring up some videos here. The video that I really want you to mark is this one, this one right here. So if you're taking notes, write down phase two life lessons, Phase two, hemp hearts and hemp flakes for weight loss and wellness. I want you to heart this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click there so I can show you where the heart is. I actually already have it hearted. I've given this a five-star rating. You can even rate the videos. You know how we rated foods and stuff? You can rate the videos. Um, so it'll help people know what videos are good. So there you go. You've got, you can just heart it and watch that later. All right. So there's Travis going over that information. The next thing I want to search for is survival kit. So we're going to pull up survival kit and I want you to watch this one by Travis. And then you can work in through some of those right there by Jason. OK, do those first. And then we're going to look for advanced. And I want you to watch these two videos. Now, again, don't be overwhelmed by it. All we're doing right now is homework -y type of stuff. You click on this and then you just heart it so that you can watch it later. OK, so it's not like it's part of Fast Track. But what it is, is it's 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 steps. It's things that I know are important. I mean, look, who wouldn't want to listen to him? <laughs> He is just, he gets at it, y'all. He gets at it and he wants you to be, um, he wants you to know this, these, these secrets. So, okay, so that's how you search in the video library. Does anybody have any questions about how to search in the video library? A lot of what we're doing in Shibboleth is really just introducing you to the way the website works because it's pretty important to know how to navigate in here. And if you ever have to come back and say, you know what, I was listening to that, but at the time I didn't really have time to focus on how to find a video in the video library. Oh yeah, that was in Fast Track. Let me go back and find that. You can always come right back here and read that black box again and do the little task and figure it out or watch the video, okay? So once you 
kind of have found the search bar and you've looked for a few videos on topics, then you just come in here and check that box, okay? But once you're no longer in Fast Track, you're actually just going to access your video library from right here, this yellow videos and print material tab. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to familiarize ourselves with a restaurant guide. The, re the, the Shibboleth lifestyle teaches nutrition for all situations. Eating in restaurants does not have to mean a holiday. When looking at the restaurant guide, locate the restaurants that you frequent the most often. Read through the list of items listed and open several that you think you would enjoy. It is important that it is not assumed that you can eat the meal just as listed on the menu. Most of the time, it doesn't work like that. Ordering instructions, this is amazing. Ordering instructions will be available for each menu item listed. Reading this before you go to a restaurant when possible um, can help you prepare a survival kit if you would like. You might like to screenshot a few of your favorites to have them handy. So we're gonna click here. This is gonna go to our restaurant guide. So in the restaurant guide, you actually can use the weight loss meter straight away. You can say, you know what? I want to know what I can eat out there. That's negative two, negative three. Let me hit set. And that's going to narrow down your list. So the way to look at this website, I mean, the, the restaurant guide in here is it lists the restaurant. And then I just narrowed the list, but it would list out any foods that are under here and you could just read them by going straight down like that. But most of the time people go, I want to eat at Denny's or wherever they want to eat. And they just click on Denny's. OK, so you click on Denny's. There's all the things you can have at Denny's and you could just read them. We got a lot of negative ones and twos at Denny's. Actually, it sounds like Denny's would be a good place to eat. So I don't know what a fit slam is, but. Let's see, let's click on that. Fit Slam. It's a category two fibrous carb and a category four protein plus fat. Never pay attention to that picture. That is mostly like a stock photo. Don't pay attention to the picture. It's just there to be pretty. We can't really go into Denny's and get a picture of the exact way to order the food. Do not have the seasonal fruit or the English muffin. So you're not gonna have that or that. We should draw X's on that, don't you think? You can use your own category two bread if you choose. That means that if you want the category two bread, you need to take your own and you would need to take a survival kit with you to the restaurant. If you practice portion control and have only approved combinations, you will not affect your fat burning when eating out. So it's just kind of letting you know that just don't order the fruit or the muffin. And if you want whatever else has there, I don't know what else is on the Fit Slam. So you'd have to look at the restaurant and see what the fit slam is. And then you go, okay, don't get the fruit or the English muffin. If I want my own bread, I eat it with that. Otherwise I can eat what else comes on the plate. So I went out to a restaurant out in Carrollton, Georgia with my daughter and I went to this brown dog eatery. There you go. So I don't know what I ordered. I think I just got a burger. It says brown dog house burger. So category two and category four, have your own approved bread, have your have on your own approved bread or without bread at all. I just do burgers without bread. Typically, I just say, can I have a side salad? I just make, you know how you have chicken salad? I have a burger salad. And um, you don't have to leave off the house sauce. Oh, that's kind of cool. You don't have to leave off the house sauce, but scrape off the excess. So you'll still have some of the flavor, but without all the calories. See that right there? That is an important thing, a habit to start doing. There is a lot of calories in condiments, a lot of calories in condiments. Um, let's see. Jenny says, Mexican restaurant tonight, chicken soup, no rice, extra chicken, and took her own bonitos. Awesome, Jenny. That's fabulous. That is fabulous. I actually had Mexican at home tonight with, with but you know what? I had already eaten the, the Nacho Nation bonitos up. This is really weird but I had barbecue bonitos with my Mexican uh, sauce, my Mexican meat sauce and uh, cheese dip. <laughs> it was very odd, but it was what was in the fridge and I just wanted to use it up. So let's have a look down here at Chick-fil-A. It's very important to look at the restaurants that you frequent the most often because 
what you're trying to do is you're trying to just edit the things that you do. So in this, in this adventure, in this journey that you have with Shibola, it's probably going to broaden your horizons. You're going to try new things that you never even would have thought about. And that's actually going to be fun. Okay. But just when you're getting started, the very first thing is if you go to Chick-fil-A all the time, look at what they have at Chick-fil-A. You want to know how to order that. If you go to Wendy's all the time, you want to know what they do at Wendy's. If you go to Taco Bell all the time, you know, so whatever places you go to most frequently, go ahead and look at those first. Let's just start editing the things you're already comfortable with. And then after a while, you're like, okay, I got that down. Let me explore a new thing. Well, the most exciting thing about Chick-fil-A is that all of their fried things are approved, except for the chicken strips, okay? The chicken strips aren't approved. But if you do the spicy fried filet, the fried filet, or the grilled filet without their bun, works fine. And you can do grilled nuggets. If you want quantity, go with the grilled. You get the 12. But if you are willing to give up four nuggets to get eight fried, then you go with the eight. And what I simply, this, this is how I order at Chick-fil-A. I say, I'll have eight, eight fried nuggets with a side salad, a diet lemonade, no ice. That's the way I order. Um, so the reason I like the diet lemonade is because it's like a little treat, but you also have to learn, let's click on diet lemonade, that the diet lemonade is an extra. Now, remember an extra, and the way I like to explain an extra is, it's just something a little extra, all right? It's something that just makes things a little fun, okay? So a diet lemonade at Chick-fil-A is considered an extra because it is not calorie free. See, most diet drinks are, well, most like Diet Coke and all that, they're, they're calorie free, but this one is not. It's got, it's got 50 calories in it for a small. So you want to call that as your extra. So do you remember earlier in the week when I said, if you've got, if you eat if every day when you come home from work, if it's your little thing to eat a Choco Wright peanut butter patty while you're cooking dinner, and that's an extra that you do each day is something a little extra. Then if you have this at lunch, you have Chick-fil-A lemonade at lunch, you basically are saying to yourself, I am not going to be having that Choco Wright peanut butter patty at dinner. I mean, while I'm making dinner, I'm having this. So you're making a swap. You're, you're choosing to do this. But this is why you just learn all the things and what they are. And, and there are going to be little mistakes that are made along the way. If it's an honest mistake, but it was not anything that was going to take you out of efficient fat burning and that kind of thing, you don't worry about it and you keep going on, okay? You, don't, you still can say it's a perfect day even if it was an honest mistake. But if you do something purposefully and you know that's not a perfect day, you need to call it what it is so that the integrity of the program stays, stays strong. Okay, but let's have a look real quick right here. The number one rule for restaurant dining. Basically, you can have anything that when you cooked it at home, you consider it a lean protein and a protein plus fat. You can have any of those things at a restaurant with a fibrous carb. Now, remember though, at a restaurant, all meat is a category four. So at home, when you cook a piece of chicken, you would consider that to be a lean protein because you'd be cooking it in the right oil, an approved, Chipotle approved oil or healthy fat. You'd be cooking it the right way. But when you go to a restaurant, you have no idea what they cooked that chicken breast in. And more than likely, it wasn't a Chipotle approved cooking oil or healthy fat. So you just need to consider that a protein plus fat because basically what they've done is they've taken a protein and they've cooked fat into it. And so you just consider all meat at a restaurant, a category four, protein plus fat, and then you can order a fibrous carb with it. Hope that makes sense. So that, that actually is the number one rule for all dining. I can go to a restaurant now and I can pick that stuff out like that. Today, I went to Marlowe's for lunch. And I said, I want the Cuban. No bun, no pickles, no mojo slather. I say no a lot. 
and no cheese. So what I had, and, and it doesn't matter that it doesn't look like a Cuban anymore, but what was on my plate was some delicious pork and ham. They do a great job with their stuff. And I just ate that with a knife and a fork and I ordered green beans. That's what I had today at Marlowe's. It was delicious, absolutely delicious. So <clears throat> y'all can do that, but you'll learn how to just order that way. And, and the guy that takes my order now, cause I eat there and order the same thing every month. He says, oh, I got it now. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so that's, that's what he does. Um, and then when I order like that, the people that are sitting around me go, she eats healthy. I'm like, yep, yeah, yeah, I do. No problemo. Okay. So there's your restaurant guide. You also have a search bar too. I'm going to go back to the front look again. So when you pop over here into the, the restaurant guide, there's your big long list. Everything just listed out individually, or you can access it through the shorter list on the side, just by the restaurant name, or you can search for a restaurant right there. Okay. And you can use the weight loss meter. Let's see, Elise. So if all protein or you, let's see, if all protein at a restaurant is a category four, probably won't order a category three, right? Correct. Correct. Yes. In fact, I'm not ever going to order, unless it's a holiday, a category three at a restaurant. Just because you don't eat category threes with category fours and all me. Yep, that's right, Elise. Good application of that. Okay. So once you have, you know how the restaurant guide works. You just simply check the box. And, you know, when you read that black box and it gives you that task to do, I would break that down like I'm doing a homework. What did she say to do? Okay, she said, locate this. And she said to read this and screenshot a few. I would do all of that because it's the process of following the homework or the guide or that kind of thing that teaches you something skimming and then going, okay, I got it and clicking the box. That doesn't teach anybody anything. See, what we're trying to do is we're trying to internalize new things now. So I have been loving, I don't know if y'all heard me say this the other night. I'm pretty sure I said it Wednesday night, but I've been loving talking about the ABCs and how when we were young, our parents taught us the ABCs, right? From from birth, they're singing ABCs and everybody around you is singing ABCs and ABCs and every a, all the time. And you're not ever going to forget the ABCs. But nobody teaches us the one, two, threes of food combining. It's just not taught, but it should have been. And it's just like once you get down and you get in, see those ABCs are internalized. You're not ever going to get forget your ABCs. Once you get this down and you get this internalized as well, you're not going to forget this either. You're going to be like going into that restaurant and saying, I want a Cuban this, no this, no that, no the other. And, and you're going to love it because you're going to feel so much better. Inflammation is going to be down. Health is going to be better. I saw a great story today by our hashtag Shibby Trucker, Sherry Stoneman. She's a member who lives in her semi and does Shibboleth. She went to her doctor today and they ha she hadn't seen the doctor in six months. The doctor was blown away and took her off her meds. So this is great stuff that you can, that you can do. But I really need everybody to put blinders on because there's a lot of myths out there perpetrated on us and they're always trying to get you to buy something from them, okay? And we don't have to we can buy from the grocery store. Buy from the grocery store, y'all. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at WOW challenges. WOW stands for War on Weakness. WOW challenges are weird, wacky challenges where you determine in your heart and in your mind that you're going to meet the challenge for the day. Wow challenges are one day challenges, but can be done multiple days in a row. Wow challenges are great to practice exercising your self-discipline muscle, to use after a holiday, or for a perceived plateau breaker, they are designed to help you lose up to one pound in a day. 
you earn a badge for your first WOW challenge and the number increases on that badge for each WOW challenge attempted and completed. Completed is the key word there. Pick some favorites by Harding specific WOW challenge to help you when you hit a wall, need to regain focus, or just to simply challenge yourself. So we're going to click here. When you get there, if you watch this video right here, this video is me. I'm going to show you how to accept and complete a WOW challenge right there. There is a search bar. Okay, so you're going to find there's lots of similarities throughout this website. There's a search bar there. So if you're looking for something that has avocado in it, you can type in avocado, hit the search button, and it doesn't always work perfectly, okay, because you might be searching for something and not, not it might not be tagged with it in the search, okay, so you might have to look a little bit more, dig a little bit deeper. So then there's two other tabs right here. They're my favorites tab. Now, that's where you're going to find your hearted items, and this is your history. What have you done? How many how many WOW challenges have you done? Which ones were they? And all of that. So that's listed right there. We're going to click on my favorites real quick and we'll narrow this down and have a look at those. So um, we can come down here. I've got, there's one right there, the Chick-fil-A, Kim's Egg White Grill and Nuggets. So when you click on that one for breakfast, you have a Chick-fil-A Egg White Grill. And it says on their bread, it's a zero on the weight loss meter. On a category two bread, it's a negative one on the weight loss meter. On a 50 calorie tortilla, it's a negative two on the weight loss meter. And removing the cheese improves the weight loss meter by one. Okay, so if I wanted to have this be on a 50 calorie tortilla, if it's already a negative two on the weight loss meter and I take the cheese off, it'd be a negative three on the weight loss meter. That'd be pretty cool. But you can still have the cheese on there. Thankfully, he left the cheese uh, for me. So lunch, you're skipping lunch on this on this particular challenge, okay? If you don't like to skip lunch or eat them, then don't pick that challenge, okay? Because you can't edit these. On these WOW challenges, they cannot be edited. You need to do them just as they are said or pick a different one, okay? And then for dinner, eight to 12 grilled nuggets with a side salad. I use the light Italian dressing that they serve. I'm not even a big, I'm not a big dressing person at all, but you know, I actually have tried a few dressings since I've started Chibola. And what I do with that light Italian one is I'll drizzle it over the top just a little bit. And then I'll eat, you know, off the top of that. Then I'll drizzle just a little bit more and then I'll eat that. And then I'll drizzle a little bit more. And then I'm not really using up that whole packet even, which is good. But use, use only a sa approved salad dressing. So you could use their a light Italian is the only one. Or you could use your own approved salad dressing. Do not use sweet dipping sauces for the chicken. Okay. Um, and then that would be your day. Now, if I, me personally, if I was going to do this day, this would be a, I went to get their breakfast right after, right before they quit serving breakfast. <laughs> and then I would be eating that dinner about four o'clock. And that's how I would balance that out with two meals. Um, so you can do that. And you'll notice I have that hearted. 202 other people have hearted that. Now, let's say that you want to accept this. You click the green accept button. You choose the date on which you want to do it. I'm not going to choose one because then if I don't complete it, I get a diet devil and I don't want that. Then you click the accept button, okay? Once you've accepted it, it will show up in your journal for that day. And at the end of the day, you can go ahead and you can click yes, that you completed it. So it looks kind of, it looks a little bit funny because it says uncompleted, but you might be saying in your head, I completed it. What do you mean? it means that it just hasn't been marked completed yet. So click the uncompleted button and then you choose the option for completed or the other option is tap out. Tap out means you didn't meet it and you just tap out. But what happens is you do get a little diet devil on your uh, timing chart, but that's okay. The next time that you complete a wow challenge 
completely, that diet devil goes away. Okay, so there's a way to get rid of the, there's a, ra a way to get rid of the diet devils that come from a wow challenge, okay? Now, if you get a diet devil because you've gone over your allowed number of holidays in a month, there's no way to get rid of that diet devil there. He's there to, he's there to say, I don't want to see that thing again. So I'm not going to go over my allowed number of holidays. Okay. It's there to kind of keep you from going there. Okay. So we're here. We're back here in my favorites. And I'm going to look at another one. We're going to look right here at Kim's Cheesy Challenge. I'm picking the ones that he did for me. So it's a turkey breast and cheese omelet using approved ingredients for breakfast. For lunch, it's an approved shake or you could skip it. And then for dinner, it's a turkey breast and cheese omelet using approved ingredients. This is actually one of my favorite days. I should probably do this more often and get, get my WOW Challenge badge number to increase. But I really, I like this day a lot. Now, since we're going over wow challenges, anybody have something that they want to, for me to search for real quick and we'll see what's in there? Anybody have an idea or one that they know that they like so I can share with everybody? Facebook, feel free to say a, a wow challenge if you know of one you like to do. If not, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. This is called Bio Coffee Number 8 because there's so many things done with Bio Coffee. So you would skip the bio, skip the breakfast there, have Bio Coffee mixed with or without Cocoa Ringa or Healthwise Hot Chocolate. And you can have this, you can have this with one Mighty Muffin and one teaspoon of peanut butter. Wow. And then for dinner, have Travis's spaghetti. Let me just tell you, this is probably why I marked this one. This Travis's spaghetti is so good. So good. Okay, so Shannon says she likes the grilled cheese. Wow, we'll look, look that one up in a second. And Rebecca said that she's not done one yet. Yeah, Rebecca, it's one of those things that I just played around with. And about my second week when I tried out a wow challenge, I thought, you know what? It does just give you meal plans, really. It just gives you some meals to eat. So it was kind of nice to have that decided for you. Um, so with Travis's spaghetti, it says, make sure that you don't have more than what will fit on a six inch plate. The meal should be piled no higher than the thickest part of your hand. You may substitute spaghetti squash, zucchini pasta, miracle rice pasta, rice cauliflower, carbonata pasta, or lettuce for Explore Cuisine pasta. Because the recipe calls for Explore Cuisine. So remember how I said there wasn't any uh, changing things out on these? They're specifically telling you what you can check it out, what you can try to uh, exchange it for. So if those are written there and there, you can do that. Okay, so yes, yes, give it a try, Rebecca. It'll be fun. Okay, let's do grilled. Look, I've looked up grilled cheese in here before. So let's look at the grilled cheese challenge. Okay, here's one right here. Let's click this one. Approved grilled cheese for breakfast with the high protein health-wise tomato soup. I like the one that's called the zesty tomato soup. It's a little bit creamy. Lunch, salad with three tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. Use zero calorie salad dressing or zero drag MCT oil-based salad dressing. And there's some recipes in the recipe library for that. And then for dinner, you're having an approved grilled cheese with the soup again which is fun. You just kind of, I'm going to go ahead and heart that one. That one looks good. And then let's see what this one is. This one is approved grilled cheese using the following ingredients. They list out some breads for you. Use any fat-free or cabot light, extra light cheese. Use about two to three ounces of approved cheese. And then lunch, salad with veggies, or category two veggies. And then dinner is that same thing again. Let's see. The grilled cheese recipe show about four slices of cheese. I know. It's crazy, Elise. I want to tell you, Elise, you don't need four. 
Okay. But the reason that they say four is because that is what would give you plenty of um, protein. So what I do, Elise, is when I make a grilled cheese, I take two slices of bread. I usually do the Sara Lee 45 calorie multigrain. That's the one I like. That's the flavor I like best. I spray it with, I can't believe it's not butter. And I let it, I let it lay on the griddle, griddling, cooking up, warming up. I put one slice of cheese on one side and one slice on the other. And then I'll take a few little uh, slices of deli turkey and put it on each side. And then, cause I did it with four slices of cheese one time, Elise. It was just running everywhere. I didn't need all of that cheese, but I did want a few little bits of extra protein. So I did some other things. Um, okay, so Elise, I'm gonna tell you, the one you need to buy is the Borden Fat-Free. It's absolutely delicious. Well, yeah, that, well, try the Borden. But when you're saying, I'd almost rather have one slice of real cheese, well, it doesn't necessarily work with everything. So you could do the Cabot Extra Light Cheese, which is a block cheese that you might like a little bit better. You can cut that into slices, do two to three ounces of that, and you could you could use that. Or 2% American Singles are also approved, but I wouldn't do four of that. Yeah. Yeah, but at least, yeah, just, tr yeah, try those. My favorites are, for the fat-free, the Borden. It is so good. It actually tastes better to me than the cheese my husband buys, the sliced cheese he buys. And then I do the Cabot Extra Light Cheese, and um, sometimes I'll buy the 2% singles. But you just have to use them. But I wouldn't do a full fat, especially in weight loss mode. Let's see, Taryn. In weight loss mode, can you do these challenges or will it conflict with a perfect day timing? Oh, Taryn, definitely you can do these in weight loss mode. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one that Shannon did. And Shannon, Taryn, it says see more and I can't press the button from where I'm sitting. So I don't know the rest of your question, but I think it says or wait until maintenance. You can definitely do these in weight loss. Will not affect anything. In fact, they're good for it. Good for it. So go, go, go. All right. So once we have, once you've kind of played around in there and familiarized yourself with wow challenges, you're simply going to check that box right there. And that's that. Let's see. Oh yeah. I have laughing cow cheese wedges in my, in my, um, my, my refrigerator as well, Elise. Yeah. Uh, so what I do with that is I will take a Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortilla and I will spread that laughing cow cheese in there. I use that instead of mayonnaise. That will give you that moisture you're kind of looking for. And it will give you the like a flavor. Sometimes I'll take the everything bagel seasoning and sprinkle that on top of there. And then put in some uh, lettuce or some spinach. Or um, then I put in some turkey. I like deli turkey meat better than any other deli meat so that's why I always say turkey um so I put that in there roll that up that thing is good and then I like to take strips of strips of red yellow and orange bell peppers and I just eat those I don't like green bell peppers but I like the colored ones Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we all find ourselves lucky in certain ways, Elise. Yeah, yeah. Just um, there are some days once you get living the lifestyle down, Elise, you once you go through fast track and you, you you're like, I got this baby down. I'm doing my perfect days. I'm doing my perfect days. I'm getting some results and all of that. And then you kind of listen to the silver level daily doses and the gold level daily doses. And then you get over into tiger's eye, you're, you really might like the lion or shark day because you get full fat cheese on those days. But here's the thing. Those days are very, very important to do the right way. Otherwise, they can be some of your best days or they can be some of your worst days. OK, because if you don't do it right, you'll end up capturing all that fat that comes in those type of days. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. Diane, how do I join the Facebook group? Diane, are you a Shibboleth member? I'm going to let Diane answer. Does anybody have any questions about what we went over tonight? Otherwise, this is what's going on. Um, in just a few minutes, Dr. Jim is going to be doing the How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar. Okay, so you can join that. Okay, so if you are a member, if you're a member, Diane, log in to www.myshaboleth.com and then at the very top, click on Dashboard and then click on Fast Track. In lap one, there's a link to four Facebook groups that you're going to want to be a part. Well, there's three Facebook groups and then the public page. That's where I would start to make sure you're in the right groups. And then if you haven't done Fast Track yet, Diane, please work your way through each little step methodically. I'm going back over here again because I want to show her. But those of you that want to um, join Dr. Jim in a few minutes, click right here on the online webinars tab and he will, you can register right there. And the reason I suggest that members go in through the Zoom room is because you, okay, Diane. Okay, I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. Um, go right here and register because when you're a member, you kind of get, you get credit, you know, and what that means is you get a badge and then your number increases on your badge. And we like our digital badges. So join right there, okay? Another way to see what all is going on, see this upcoming events tab? You can click right there. And then look, I got a new image on the Fast Track uh, page. The, that's fun. And then tomorrow, if you're near Kennesaw, please come in person to class. You can just click right here and register. If you are not near Kennesaw, this is a weekly accountability meeting where we're all going to be able to see each other and chat and talk. The more people that come on here, the more fun it is because I do breakout rooms and people get to meet each other. This whole thing that we're doing with Shibboleth, this is not a diet. This is a wonderful lifestyle and community of friends that you are going to build for life if you'll participate in all the things that we have available for you. And it's just wonderful. So please join right there. You can just register by clicking that. And then tomorrow night, we're going to do lap seven of Fast Track right here. And then we have a guest, Andrea Ziering um, from South Georgia, doing the How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight tomorrow night. So please join us for that. Okay. Um, so Diane just joined. So Diane, you're going to go to your website and when you log in, I want you to save it as a favorite on your favorites bar. And then you should automatically be at Fast Track because all new members end up straight at Fast Track. But once you end up off of Fast Track and you're like, how do I get back to Fast Track? Which is a question that I get, I get asked a lot. Click on dashboard. And then a new member should have Fast Track pop up immediately. But if it doesn't, there it is right there, Fast Track. And then what you do as a new member, Diane, is you read this paragraph and you watch this short little tutorial video. And then go ahead and you read that little black box. That black box is what I want you to know about doing that task. Then you click on that task and you do it and then you come check that box so you can see there's it's a it's very methodical because i don't want you bouncing all over the website i want you to purposefully go through each task because each task that you do builds on the next and on the next and right here when it comes to welcome packet you got to read it read it from first word to last word because if you take the time to read that first word to last word you're building on the knowledge and these videos that you just watched. There's 14 little videos here. It takes less than one hour to watch all 14. But then you read this packet. It's going to build on that knowledge. Then when you read everything on this combination chart, it builds on the prior knowledge. And then you look at this one and it builds. So it's, this builds on top of each other as you're kind of going through. But Diane, what I'd really like for you to do 
is over the weekend. Oh, and by the way, here's the here's joining the Facebook groups right down here. Over the weekend, I want you to do lap one and lap two. And then on Sunday night, join me for the lifestyle overview because I start a brand new fast track class uh, every Sunday night. But the best setup for a person that I capture that, is, that, that I can catch on Friday or Saturday is to, okay, over the weekend, do lap one and lap two, then join me for Sunday night's webinar. And then you're going to have a great setup for having, getting started next week. Okay. Let's see, Deb, where do I find Lion Days after Fast Track? Okay. Hey, Deb. Okay. So in, go to your video library and then click on Tiger's Eye. And in Tiger's Eye, right here, Shibboleth Perfect Days, Lion and Shark Days, right there. So you'll watch that video. And that will teach you about uh, Lion Days. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, well, we're going to hop off, but I do, I hope that y'all join me tomorrow for the, um, the noon weekly accountability meeting. It's awesome. And I do plan on being here with y'all till the Lord calls me home. Okay. So, because I want to take care of my body for that time. I want you to do the same thing and I want to do it with you. So please join us tomorrow. All right. Bye. Y'all have a great night. Thank you, Elise. Thank you. I appreciate that. Will you be in class tomorrow? Will you be driving over? <laughs> You're welcome, Jennifer. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Next hair day. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Awesome. Well, I look forward to your next hair day, Elise. Bye everybody.